Okay, the new case. Two sets of candidates are competing for the positioning on board of directors of a company. The probability is that the first and the second set will win are 0.6 and 0.4 respectively. If the first set wins, the probability of introducing a new product is 0.8. And the corresponding probability if the second set win is 0.3. What is the probability that the new product will be introduced? First of all, there are two sets in competition to be positioned on board of directors. Only two groups are in competition. No third group is in competition. That means exhaustive number of cases. Number two, only one group can win the competition. Only one can group a group can be there in the board of director ultimately. That means at the same time both the groups cannot be in the board of directors. That means this is case of mutually exclusive events. Mutually exclusive and exhaustive events. Probability 0.6 and 0.4 total comes to 1. The second part is if the first set wins the probability of introducing a new product is 0.8. Now let us reread the sentence. The probability of introducing a new product if the first set wins is 0.8. That means this is the case of conditional probability. Probability of introducing a new product if first set wins, then it is 0.8. Similarly, probability of introducing a new product if the second set wins is 0.3. So these two are conditional probabilities of introducing a new product. Yes. Now we ultimately want to find the probability that the new product will be introduced. Okay. Let us use signs, event A1, the first set wins, A2, the second set wins, and B, the new product is introduced. Furthermore, the available probabilities are the probabilities that the first and the second sets will win are 0.6 and 0.4 respectively. That means P of A1, 0.6 and P of A2 is 0.4. Next part says, if the first set wins, the probability of introducing a new product is 0.8. The probability of introducing a new product if first set wins is 0.8. That means this is the conditional probability. The probability of introducing a new product if first set wins, that is 0.8. And similarly, the probability of introducing a new product if second set wins is given to be 0.3. And ultimately what is the question? What is the probability that the new product will be introduced? So as a final answer we require to find out probability of B. Again. We are going to use tabular approach because that is the say easiest approach of solving the problems. Any question? The first column of the table is event or say set of candidate AI. 
prior probability of winning any set that is probability of AI conditional probability of introducing a new product that is P of B given AI and multiplication of these two will give us the joint probability joint probability of winning a set of candidates and introducing a new product that is P of A I intersection B. First set that is A1 the probability of winning the first set is given to be 0.6 that means P of A1 equals to 0.6 probability of introducing a new product if the first set wins that means probability of B if A1 happens is given to be 0.8 and according to our formula or according to the general law of multiplication of probabilities probability of A1 intersection B is multiplication of these two that means 0.48 as a reminder what is the formula of calculation of P of B given A1 it is P of A1 intersection B or B intersection A1 divided by P of A1 we have these two available so the cross multiplication P of A1 into P of B given A1 gives us P of A1 intersection B. Got it? Yes. Similarly, the second set that means A2 probability of happening of A2 that is 0.4 because these two are mutually exclusive events as well as exhaustive, so total comes to 1. Probability of introducing a new product if second set wins is given to be 0.3 and similarly multiplication of these two will result in probability of A2 intersection B that is 0.12 and addition of these two is probability of B that is 0.6 or say 60 percent. Now what is exactly event B? That the probability a new product is introduced equals to P of B that is 0.6 got it now let us use this case for the logical extension of the chapter and that is actually the last topic of the chapter Bayes theorem what is Bayes theorem? To understand that, let us use this table or say this case. This is the case we calculated or we got the probability of introducing a new product. Now suppose that further information is available. We come to know that a new product is introduced. What is the probability that it is introduced by first set? or what is the probability that it is introduced by the second set that means we have knowledge about the happening of event B on the basis of that we want to find that behind the happening of B what is the probability that first group is there or second group is there that is known as posterior probability or revised probability of these two events or any of these two events 
or in India it is popularly known as case of inverse probability. These two are prior probability. That means knowledge about happening of these two events is before happening this event. Before introducing or before any knowledge about introducing a new product, the probability of happening of A1 is 0.6 and probability of happening of A2 is 0.4. But after getting knowledge about happening of event B or say after knowledge about the event that a new product is introduced by the company or by the new board of director of the company, now calculation of revised probability of set 1 and set 2 or winning of set 1 set 2 that is known as posterior probability Post prior means before happening something something means event B posterior means after happening something or in this case after introducing or knowledge about introducing a new product recalculation of probability A and A1 and probability of A2 is case of conditional probability. Yes? Say posterior or revised or inverse probability of winning any set of candidates. That is probability of a i given b that means probability of first set winning the election if a new product is introduced or probability of second set winning the election if a new product is introduced so what is the formula of say p of a1 given b we know that the formula of p of a1 given b is P of A1 intersection B divided by P of B. Yes, P of A1 intersection B divided by P of B. Yes, 0.48 divided by 0 0.6 that is 0 0.8. Similarly, probability of A2 if B is going to happen or B has happened that is According to formula P of A2 given B is P of A2 intersection B divided by P of B. P of A2 intersection B divided by P of B. That is 0 0.12 divided by 0 0.6. So it is 0 0.2. Mark that the summation of these probabilities is again 1. Because there are only two sets. Got it? Yes. Thank you.